Hi everyone! So we just had the very much anticipated Animal Crossing Direct and it was absolutely amazing. When I tell you I screamed and cried and squealed, oh my goodness, this seriously had me so shocked and surprised and excited. Almost absolutely everything I've been saying Nintendo should add to this game has been announced to return on November 5th. And they managed to fit a lot of information in just 20 minutes. So today we're going to be going through it all together and going through all this amazing and exciting new stuff being added to the game. So of course the first thing we're shown and the thing we all came to this direct for is our legendary Brewster. We finally get to see him in gorgeous HD and he looks amazing. The roost is gorgeous, it has sofas, tables and a much more green theme than in previous games. The roost cups have little logos on now whereas in previous games they were just plain. You can relax and get a coffee with your friends and special characters will visit the roost and you can speak to them just like in old games. And now there is even amiibo compatibility so you're able to scan amiibo cards or figures onto your switch and invite characters over to the roost to hang out and sometimes they'll even bring their own friends along. This is so lovely and I can't wait to hang out and have coffee with not only my friends but my favourite special characters too like Tom Nook and Sable. Unfortunately no part time job mini game was shown in this direct so it doesn't seem like this will be an option in New Horizons. It's such a shame but I'm so glad Brewster is back at least. The roost looks amazing, there's little photographs of KK performing in the roost in the old games, the old roost building from New Leaf and even the cutest photo of Brewster and Blathers together. I love it so much. Animal Crossing isn't the same without Brewster and I'm just so glad he's back. And if you look closely at the shelf behind Brewster, you can see a very familiar looking collectible of his. Gyroids. That's right, gyroids are finally back and even cuter than in previous games. Gyroids will be found underground just like always and play fun little sounds just like always, but this game does bring them back with a little twist. You can now bury gyroid fragments, water them and then basically grow your own gyroids to collect. Super weird, wasn't really expecting to be able to grow gyroids because I never really considered them a plant, but I mean, it's cool I guess? Something else that's new is that gyroids are fully customizable in this game, meaning you can have gyroids of a sound you like and then change the colour to fit your designs. In previous games, if you wanted a gyroids design to match your room, you might be getting stuck with a sound that doesn't fit and vice versa, but in New Horizons, we won't have that issue. Gyroids have returned super fun, super cute, and now you can even get them in pink. So I don't know about you, but I'm super happy about it. So this is where the first big surprise came in. Captain, he's here? Okay, I really wasn't expecting him to to return right now with Brewster, but I'm definitely not complaining. I was so surprised to see my funny and sweet Captain back in New Horizons. He looks amazing and of course he still sings us his cute songs while sailing on his beloved boat. Look at him just relaxing with his sunglasses on, oh my gosh, I'm so glad he's returning. Unfortunately, he's not here to take us to a multiplayer minigame island like we were all hoping for, but he is here to take us somewhere else new and exciting. In this game, Captain will be taking us to special mystery islands full of new glowing plants and new bushes. Is. The island you visit can be a different season and different time of day than your own island and this will be a really nice escape for when the everyday is getting a little bit boring on your own island. I'm not sure what else these islands have in store for us but I'm really looking forward to exploring them and sailing with Captain on his boat just like old times. So speaking of new plants, we now have a ton of new crops being added to the game. We can now grow not only just pumpkins but tomatoes, wheat, sugarcane, potatoes and carrots. This is so exciting, I can't wait to create the cutest little carrot farm by Ruby's house and so you may be wondering what we're meant to do with all these new crops? Well if you've been around on my channel for a while then you'll know this is something I was bringing up as an idea in Animal Crossing around two years ago. It's something I've always imagined being in Animal Crossing since I first ever played Wild World as a child. That's right, we finally have cooking. So using our new crops along with other new ingredients like flour we can now cook. Yes I know right, how exciting is this? This is an idea I've been obsessing over since I was a little girl and it's finally come true. Using kitchen items we can now use different ingredients to cook meals that we'll be able to place as furniture just like regular food items but they'll have a different logo to regular furniture pieces. I'm so excited for more food items and having cooking in the game is going to be so much fun and so lovely just having something new to craft. Now I can cook food and gift it to my villagers, I can send fresh bread and cookies and warm soup to all my friends. I'm so excited about this! And Harv's Island is getting an upgrade. This is so exciting. So the first thing we see is this whole new extension to Harv's Island
hand on the right and then we see Harriet and Harvey finally together. If you didn't know, these two had a crush on each other in New Leaf and so I was ecstatic to finally see them together like this. Not only is Harriet here, but you can now donate money to unlock special characters and their camper vans like Sahara, Red, Kix and even Reese and Cyrus. That's right, Reese and Cyrus are properly back in the game, offering the furniture customization feature just like in New Leaf. In New Horizons, they'll let us customize furniture we weren't able to before, like the color locked Nook Ma rewards we previously had to unlock through swapping with friends. This is such a great upgrade. So Harriet is back, and of course she couldn't be back without being the super sweet and stylish hairdresser we all know and love. In New Horizons, Harriet will be able to cut our hair just like in previous games and help us unlock the exclusive new hairstyles. We're getting some new hairstyles added to the game, a few of which I'm in love with and I know I'll be wearing now and then on my own character. And we'll be able to change the ones we've unlocked via Harriet using the mirror items, just like before. I'm so happy Harriet is back. I honestly wasn't holding out much hope that they would bring her back in New Horizons, but I always really wanted her to come back with exclusive hairstyles and wigs, and now she has. So I couldn't be happier about this, and she looks amazing. Along with Harriet and our visiting characters being able to appear in Half's Island, we also get to see the return of even more old characters. One of which is our magical Katrina, who is back with her fortune teller shop and will give us our daily fortunes once again. Again. I'm so glad she's finally here, I really missed getting my fortune told and she looks amazing in this game. I missed her a ton and I think she'll make New Horizons feel so much more complete. And along with Katrina we also have someone else very special, Tortima. My charming old grandpa Tortima is back. People thought he was dead, but no, he's back. I'm so glad to see this sweet grandpa mare again. Tortima is here, unfortunately not returning with his amazing multiplayer minigame field Tortima Island, but honestly I'm just glad to see him again. New Horizons Horizons basically removed all of the Animal Crossing's elderly characters, and Tortima was such a huge part of the old games. It's just so heartwarming to see him again. And judging by this conversation, it seems that we can access our storage by speaking to him. I'm not 100% sure what his role is in New Horizons, but if he's back, I'm happy. Speaking of storage, we are now able to expand our storage once again from the previous 2400 items to now being able to store 5000 items. This is going to be so helpful for me especially who constantly has items all over my island due to lack of storage. Not only that, but we now have a brand new item, the storage shed. We can use the storage shed to access our home storage while outdoors, saving us a long trip back to our homes every time we need something. This is a super convenient item and it's going to be a massive time saver, so I'm really happy about it. We are getting a lot more Nook Ma reward furniture pieces, which is amazing, since previously we had barely any reason to collect Nook Miles due to the lack of items. The items include furniture such as gazebos, inflatable toys, and even item names like Plaza Game Stand and Plaza Teacup Ride? They didn't show this in the direct, but I'm wondering if these items will be placeable on our plazas. It would be so much fun to actually be able to decorate outside our resident services with these items, and it's so great just to have more of a reason to collect Nook Miles again. So Island Ordinances are finally back from New Leaf. If you weren't aware, Island Ordinances were rules we could put in place as Mayor in New Leaf, and now we're able to do the same thing as Resident Representative in New Horizons. So there are quite a few ordinances, including my favourite beautiful island, which will make it so weeds appear less and flowers grow easier. You can also have the option to choose between an early bird or night owl ordinance, meaning shops will open and villagers will be awake earlier or later in the day. This is so helpful for those that work late and those that only have some time to play very early in the mornings. Now your island will run at your pace and make things much simpler. And of course there's the bell boom ordinance, meaning items will sell for more and make it easier to earn money on your island. Ordinances are so helpful and convenient and an amazing feature from New Leaf. I think they're going to improve island life massively. Another thing that I was really hoping for is more home exterior options. In New Leaf we had a ton of different ways to decorate the exterior of our homes and now we do in New Horizons too. We can now change our homes into the cutest cabin style. I'm so excited to explore the options we'll now have. Along with new home exterior options we now have a whole new range of interior options too. With a pro decorating license we can now use ceiling lights and decorations. We had this in Happy Home Designer and New Leaf and I'm just so glad this is finally returning in New Horizons. With this, we'll be able to have the cutest little lampshade, shelves, hanging plants, and a much bigger variety of ways to decorate and make our rooms feel 
special. Along with new ceiling decorations, we also now have the option to create accent walls. We can use different wallpaper or patterns on each individual wall. I'm so excited about this, this is a brand new feature to New Horizons and again this is going to make decorating so much more fun. Along with these interior decorating improvements, we can now also walk through very narrow spaces in our homes, which we weren't able to before. This means we're able to make more cluttered rooms that should still be explorable. As someone who likes to use a lot of clutter when decorating, this makes me so happy to see. The amount of bridges and inclines we can place on our islands has now been increased from 8 to 10. This is going to be so helpful, I know a few of my friends have had to completely change their design of their island due to lack of inclines, but now this should be super helpful. Not only that, but we now have a brand new tool to help with the same issue, a wooden ladder setup. We can now craft these tools and place them outside by cliffs so that we no longer even need to build inclines to access cliffs easily. This is so cute, I think I'll definitely have a few of these ladders set up on my own island, and you can get the DIY recipe really easily from Nook's Cranny. So with all these amazing new exterior and interior home decor options, we also need some more improvements for outside on our island, right? Well this one is something I know we've all been waiting for. White fences are finally here! Customizable fences are now an option on New Horizons. Along with a bunch of new fences we are now able to use to decorate, including some we have only ever seen in special places like Harv's Island. Some of the fences shown in this direct include park fencing, block fencing, corrugated iron fencing, log wall fencing, green bamboo and bamboo slats fencing, and my personal favourite, log fencing. I've been wanting this exact fence for my own island forever, and I'm so happy to finally get these fences and be able to customise the ones we already have. This is going to improve our island designs massively. Now that our islands are going to be looking amazing, what is there to do other than decorate? Well, morning aerobics is finally returning to Animal Crossing for the first time since the original game on the GameCube. This is one of the most adorable features in Animal Crossing that the community has been gushing about for years and hoping to return. Actually, in my first ever YouTube video, I mentioned this and how it would be amazing for this to return in New Horizons. And now it is! And it's even better than before! Now even different special characters join in too, which is so cute! Look at little Brewster! And not only that, you can take part by doing the stretches in real life, on your own or with friends using the Joy-Con controllers. I know this is probably going to sound so lame, but I think being able to play Animal Crossing at the same time will actually remind me to stretch and get some exercise. And I'm just so overwhelmingly happy this is returning. I can't wait to exercise with my sweet villagers. Something else I didn't expect is that the camera app now has a new upgrade. We can now change to handheld camera mode, which is basically just the first person view, and we are able to take photos from a whole new angle and much closer than before. This is super cute, and as a content creator this makes me really happy as it means I'll be able to take photos for thumbnails in a whole new way. This is also super fun because we get to see our islands from an angle that our characters and villagers would and sort of experience it in first person which is a brand new feature to Animal Crossing that I can't wait to explore. Along with being able to take photos from a different angle, we now have a whole new set of reactions to enjoy and use for photo taking or with friends. These new reactions include ones we've seen villagers do while walking around the island or in their homes, like the double wave and dance reactions. It's so great that we can now use these reactions ourselves, new reactions are always fun and these ones are absolutely adorable so I love it. So once you've made friends of Sable in New Horizons, you unlock a massive variety of patterns that you're able to use when customising furniture. But in this update, we now have the option to use these patterns as clothes or even in our homes. These patterns were kind of locked behind customising furniture before, so now we'll be able to use them for so many other things. I personally love a lot of these patterns and I can't wait to test out some of them as wallpaper in my home. Along with the new camera app and the special pattern upgrade, we now have a whole new app on our Nook phones. This one I don't think will be very useful for me personally as this app provides helpful tips for enjoying your island. I think this app is a great idea, especially for new players. This will definitely help those that are feeling a little overwhelmed or are not sure what to do. We now have a new ABD machine item that we can place outside and we can use this to withdraw or deposit bells without having to walk all the way back to resident services. This will be so helpful to keep by Nook's Cranny and wherever you like on your island to save time. This is a super convenient addition to this update. This update is bringing our beloved KK Slider 12 new songs, including Chill Wave, KK Dub, KK Hip Hop, and KK Break, including a very strange looking anchor on the front cover, which I definitely think they showed on purpose due to a recent popular video going around. I won't go too much into that, but if you know, you know. Along with these brand new songs, music boxes are also returning. Music boxes were items we had in New Leaf that would play music box versions of any KK Slider song you chose. They made our rooms feel so peaceful, and I'm so glad this option is returning. I can't wait to decorate my rooms with the prettiest and coziest music boxes and I'm so happy.
happy about this. So, like I said earlier, we are getting a ton of new furniture pieces like ceiling items, and this means Nook's Cranny also has a ton of new items for sale, including ceiling lights, shelves, and lots of new furniture pieces like the streaming desk. Nook's Cranny has felt a little stale for me for a while, so I love this upgrade, and I'm personally super excited to find lots of new furniture in the shop. One of the most beloved Animal Crossing furniture pieces of all time is finally back. After much demand from players, Froggy Chair is finally here. When I saw this in the direct, I literally squealed with excitement. Froggy Chair is back, he's customizable just like before. This little chair has been in all my Animal Crossing homes since I can remember, and the game wasn't complete without him. But he's finally back, and I can't wait to place him in my home and all around my island. Froggy Chair gets his own section in this video just because of how iconic he is. Thank you Nintendo for bringing Froggy Chair back. All hail Froggy Chair. <laughs> a super exciting addition to the game being added in this update is Villager Visits. This was a feature again that we had in New Leaf. It's finally back in New Horizons. Villagers can now invite you over to hang out at their house and can come hang out at yours. The villagers have been missing a lot of interaction in New Horizons compared to old games, so this is going to be a massive improvement. I can't wait to invite my favourite friends over to hang out in my house. Ruby can finally come visit me in my home just like old times. I think this is definitely going to make villagers feel much more unique and alive and give us a lot more friendship building opportunities. This is another thing I've been talking about wanting in the game for so long and I couldn't be happier that this feature is finally returning. So along with being able to hang out with villagers now, you may have spotted a few throughout this video, but we also have brand new villagers coming to New Horizons. Look at this sweet bunny, her name is Sasha, this derpy dog, I love him. There's this gorgeous deer I'm so in love, I really wasn't expecting this to be added to New Horizons at all. Some of these villagers are old characters from the first Animal Crossing game that I'm sure so many are super emotional to see return. This is such a lovely and wonderful addition to New Horizons. Of course, with all these brand new villagers being added to the game, there will all be featured on the brand new Series 5 Amiibo card collection. There will be 48 cards in this collection, including Sasha the adorable blue bunny, the galaxy squirrel, how beautiful is she, the gorgeous Shino, Mario who is basically just a hamster Eugene, Petri, um, He's amazing, oh my gosh. Cephalobot, Quinn, Chabwick, and Zoe, Azalea, and Faith are all villagers I personally recognize from Population Growing. We also have villagers like Ace, Rio, Fret, and Roswell. This amiibo card collection also includes brand new special characters like Nico and Wardell, who are all being introduced in the brand new New Horizons paid DLC expansion pack, Happy Home Paradise. Halfway through this direct, Nintendo showcased a paid DLC expansion pack for Animal Crossing New Horizons called Happy Home Paradise. Paradise. This DLC is basically Happy Home Designer and it's absolutely amazing. There is so much detail to go into that I will actually be making a whole separate video just to talk about this. But basically in this DLC we'll be able to travel to a new island, create villagers dream homes, and after decorating a certain amount of villagers homes we can even renovate our villagers homes on our own island. If you've been watching me for a while you'll know I made a whole video basically talking about the issue with villagers homes in New Horizons and how we should be given the option to do this. I can't I can't actually believe this is something they're adding into the game, it was just a dream of mine. Did I manifest it? I'm not sure, but I just can't wait to decorate my friends' homes and finally fix my starter villagers' houses. Happy Home Paradise launches on November 5th for around $25, which is a much better price than I was expecting. I won't go into too much detail on this since like I said, I will be posting a whole separate video discussing Happy Home Paradise, but just know that this DLC is bringing a lot to the game and I'm over the moon to see this being brought to New Horizons. I can't wait to play it. So that was absolutely everything they showed in the Animal Crossing Direct. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope this was able to showcase everything new we're getting in this update and make things a little less overwhelming. We're getting so much added to the game on November 5th, and this will be the last major free update, bringing the game to its 2.0 update. It's pretty interesting to me that this is our last major free update, but it's still so exciting. This Direct gave me so many things I've been asking for and even more, so I'm feeling so happy and I can't wait to play even more Animal Crossing with all of you. If you'd like to see a breakdown and my thoughts on Happy Home Paradise, please look forward to my video I'll be making discussing everything. I'll get to work on it as soon as I can, but for now, I do want to say an extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. I really do appreciate and love you all so, so much. Thank you for everything. And to the rest of you, thank you all so much for watching. I'm so, so happy with everything Nintendo is adding in this update. I was absolutely blown away. Please let me know in the comments what you're most excited for in this update and your thoughts on everything being added to New Horizons. If you enjoyed this video please do consider leaving a like and subscribing only if you want to though thank you all so much for watching and i'll speak to you in my next video bye <laughs>